In this video, dead cat bounce trading strategies. So the phrase dead cat bounce uh, comes from the idea of that even a dead cat will bounce if the market falls quick enough. And this is simply because we can't go down forever. But you need a massive sell-off to have this phenomenon happen. Typically, you'll get a bit of a bounce and then perhaps some continuation. If you lose, say, 15% in one day, uh, it's it's impossible to keep going down like that. Eventually, there will be uh, short sellers taking profits. There'll be people jumping in trying to pick up the stock on the cheap kind of thing. But if the negative momentum continues, you can get continuation. At the very least, you can get um, a retest of the lows. And in front of you, I have a chart that shows two of my favorite strategies for dealing with dead cat bounces when it comes to day trading. Now, I'll bring your attention to the gap lower, the kick off the day here on the 25th. As you can see on the chart, we just fell apart. So there's a couple things that you need to pay attention to. First thing you have to ask yourself is, have we passed any major previous resistance? And we did in the form of this gap. So obviously this gap should translate into resistance again now that we've broken through it. It should have been support, but you can see that did not happen. So a couple days later, in that same area, you can see that we rolled over. And at this point, you have to ask yourself, okay, so what was the clue? Well, the clue was this area. And this massive candle here, it isn't quite an engulfing candle, but it most certainly shows an extremely long red candle and bearishness. And in fact, we went right back down to the lows, a few cents or so. So that's the first way you could have played this. You could have just noticed where do we blow through? Because it's difficult to jump into this market here. Matter of fact, you can almost always count on losing money. But you recognize this gap and you recognize that it could give you an opportunity. And you got it there. And in fact, you could have even entered from this candlestick uh, if you gave it uh, enough of a stop loss, perhaps above the top of the gap. So either one really would have worked. But once we rallied and tried to take this out and then failed again, that was a sign that you were going to go lower. So you short on that candlestick. And for the rest of the day, the market does nothing but fall. That's one way you can play these. Another way, of course, is using a Fibonacci retracement tool. And you can see that the same reversal, this candlestick here and this gap, lined up quite nicely with the 50% Fibonacci retracement. The main takeaway from this should be, be very patient. Look for an area that makes a lot of sense to cause problems for the bounce. And this typically means, and at least in day trading, that it's it's actually a trade you take several days later. That's that's very common because it's it's really rare that you're going to fall like that and then turn around and bounce right back up there on the same day. If you do, then you have an extraordinarily volatile market that you should probably stay away from. But a bounce like this is very sustainable. Uh, it's very reliable in the sense that eventually it will roll back over. And once it does. It should, at the very least, try to test this bottom. Trading dead cad bounces is a bit difficult on the short-term charts, and that's another reason why you need to be so um, patient. You could even make an argument for a downtrend line there that we had tested and failed at because there were three hits. It's a little bit of a stretch, but if you can find one, that's a good way to look at this as well.